Two have triumphed. Two more will battle it out in episode three of Shredders of Metal 3, Drum Edition. Last up, we had a closely contested battle. Let's see how our judges are feeling after that. Chris. Blown away. That's some of the best drumming I've ever heard. I'm looking forward to seeing more today. Now, let's meet our competitors. This time around, we've got Vito. My name is Vito De Francesco. I'm from Vaughan, Ontario, and I've been playing drums pretty much my whole life. I like to be tossing sticks up in the air, playing really, really heavy, doing the stick twirls and stuff like that. My father got me into playing drums. Before I could even walk, he had put me on his knee. And then I started sitting on the throne myself and just never looked back. And facing off against Vito, we have Mike. Hi, my name is Mike Harshaw. I'm from Grimsby, Ontario, Canada. I've been playing drums for roughly 20 years now. My favorite drummers, I would just have to say, Mike Portnoy, Chris Adler. Oh, nice. He was one of my favorites growing up, for sure. I uh, played the hell out of Ashes of the Wake. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try not to overthink things, but playing in front of Adler will definitely be maybe one of my toughest things to date, just because I really care about his opinion. But, uh, but he'll know who I am, which is a cool thing. <laughs> up first, Vito. My man, take it away. First round, we've got some stick twirls and some great drum face. Let's see how the judges are feeling about it. Sam? Vito, the first thing I noticed was like showmanship, the first piece of like choreography we've had with that intro. And it was kind of cool, it actually made me think, you're the first drummer we've heard that hasn't been afraid to leave space. You got a lot of stuff to hit in front of you and I thought that was cool, like that's creativity. I loved it, good job. Thank you. Vito. Awesome performance. As I was looking at you setting up, I knew you meant business already because as I often say, you play the way you are as a person. So I could tell. Very cool build up on the solo, sick jungle beats, uh, creative patterns and showmanship, A plus. So Thank you very, very much. Good. Yeah, Mike, that was uh, incredibly impressive. That was uh, different and very, very cool. Very precise, very, very clean, the whole thing. You could probably lay that track that you played to a click and it, it's probably mostly perfect, which is very, very impressive. I have a, well, I try to uh, have a similar style of playing that you do. So in the next round, you know, try to vary it up a little bit. You know, you, you definitely got that one thing down as well as only maybe one other person we've heard in the whole competition so far. So it'd be cool to hear if you can mix it up a little bit. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Chris. Gentlemen, you have your notes. This time, we're starting with you, Mike. Take it away.
Well, without further ado, judges. Well, let's go to the judges and find out their thoughts. Well, yeah, another amazing episode. Mike, thanks for that, man. That's some really incredible playing. I don't have the words for it. I'll just call it the Lombardo Ring of Fire. There's something you did where you just do that circle and it was so fast and it just like brought me back to rain and blood. And I was like, I can't believe you can do that because I thought Lombardo could only do that. Vito, man, I think the reason why I went with you, you tip the scale with creativity. That's, I think, probably the most creative work we've seen so far in terms of like the variation of ideas. Your phrasing is amazing and you just have that ability to like hold off on a groove and then when it fucking kicks in, it's like a bomb went off in a good way. Perfect. So good job, man. I'm Thank looking forward to hearing more. Appreciate that. Mike, serious power. You're the kind of guy that's ready to hit the road with bands and you know, very, very powerful. Vito, amazing. Very creative. The thing with the open snare is very cool. And you prove people wrong that drummers can be smart. You actually started and developed the solo idea and, you know, became very cool. To me, you sound like a Neil Peart on, uh, on steroids, basically, <laughs> which is the guy who got me starting to drum. So. Absolutely. Thank you very much. This was a tough one because, Mike, I, I wish I had the precision and power that you have when you're playing and the consistency again if you put that to a click track i bet it is dead on and as you know the most important thing for any drummer for anybody that's playing with a drummer is that meter that time and, and staying on it and it was flawless when i grow up i hope i can play a little bit more like you <laughs> um, Vito, the thing that tipped the scales for me is what we talked about after the first round where I think we all three echo the same thing of, in the next round, let's mix it up a little bit. And Mike, you killed it again, even faster, better. It was taking the same thing to a, an even higher level. Vito, you started adding in new things that you didn't do the first time. You nailed it. And it, I think that was probably the most unique solo that we've heard the whole competition. Awesome. So, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mike, you didn't advance, but you've got some very kind words for some very accomplished drummers and a bass player. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, disappointed in myself, obviously, but I mean, growing up, uh, he basically taught me how to play double bass, and like, I, playing Ash of the Wake was, was one of my uh, exercises, so I'm a huge fan, so it's very cool to hear that stuff. Well, you know, nice consolation prize to take home with you. You get something when you come out to Shredders of Metal. Well, gentlemen, that was a fantastic battle. Vito, you're moving on. How do you feel? Fantastic. I'm excited for uh, round two. Well, we got some aggression out of him. He said he was going to do it. He brought it. Who's bringing it next round? Tune in and find out.